uh, we are going to start the series of the MRCUG part 1 uh, uh, Oxford Vision Notes and uh, this is the chapter number 1 which is the genetics and uh, let's start we are going to cover the whole book so you can find the rest of the videos in the playlist so before starting the chapter uh, you need to know few important you can say the terms these are related to the genetics. The term number one is the mosaicism. Mosaicism, it uh, arises from an error in the mitosis. For example, it is the conidal mosaicism. Then the next is the malformation. Malformation is the inherited uh, abnormality. Disruption, it uh, relates to the external pressure on the fetus. And deformation, it results um, because of the external teratogens. Dysplasia, it is resulting from the abnormal tissue development. And syndrome, it is a collection of abnormalities whose pathogenesis is linked, for example, the Down syndromes and the chromosomal abnormalities. The next is the sequence. Sequence is a single defect. They can have a cascading effect on other defects. For example, the Potter sin, uh, sequence, it resulting from the uh, oligohydroamnios. Then the multifactorial, as the name indicates, that it is related with the multiple factors. Now the next important uh, uh, few more terms, which are uh, uh, again important, it includes uh, the inheritance. Okay, inheritance. Uh, it is uh, either the autosomal dominant or uh, the autosomal recessive and uh, it is uh, excellent uh, recessive and uh, excellent dominant in the autosomal dominant uh, 50 percent of the kids they are affected such with the ratio of one ratio two in autosomal recessive the ratio is one ratio of four or the percentage is 25 percent again in excellent recessive it is uh, again 50 percent and in excellent dominant it is 25 percent now the abnormalities uh, number of the they are the number of the abnormalities and uh, these abnormalities uh, they include uh, um, the numerical abnormalities structural abnormalities deletion insertion or inversion in the numerical anoplasia are more most important monosomy trisomy trisomy is uh, uh, you have to memorize it because uh, this is the most asked mcus in the sbs of the part one mrcug these are that the trisomies are the non disjunctions and uh, it is a very important mcq and uh, then uh, I'm going to discuss these uh, tables which I collected uh, for the normalization part, uh, point of view. We are going to do it uh, at the end of the lecture. Uh, now, the most important autosomal uh, dominant disorders, it in, uh, I have memorized it with a formula which is very powerful dominant humans and it includes the von Willebrand disease, von Hippel-Leiden, pseudo hypoparathyroidism d4 dystrophia uh, myotonica and o4 osteogenesis imperfecta and osteoids weber and um, and the morphin syndromes and the intermittent porphyria neurofibromatosis the achondroplasia adult polycystic disease and the nonan syndromes and tuberous uh, uh, sclerosis and uh, hypercholesterolemia and uh, Huntington's disease and the uh, hypertrophic obstructive uh, cardiomyopathy and hereditary uh, spherocytosis and the hereditary non polyposis coli and the hereditary hemolytic telangiectasia. The, in the humans, they are uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6s. So you can um, write here that uh, these are the very powerful, uh, powerful dominant humans. Six. okay and uh, now the next thing is uh, the autosomal recessive and uh, uh, you can see that mostly these are the metabolic disorders and uh, every uh, metabolic disorders not every but most of the metabolic disorders they are autosomal recessive and uh, previously we have seen that autosomal uh, recessive has the chances uh, of um, uh 25 percent kids can be affected in uh, 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 every pregnancy so it they include the l cap 
च यूरिया अल्पा वन एंटी ट्रिप्सिन डेफिशेंसी एटेक्सिया टल इंजेक्टेशिया बीटा थलेसीमिया एंड कंजेंटल एडिनल हेपीप्लेजिया बीटा थलेसीमिया एंड कंजेंटल एडिनल हेपीप्लेजिया एंड सिस्टिक फाइव प्रोसेस आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू यू शुड मेमोराइज दैम एज दे आर द ऑटोसोमल एसिव दैन द डिवेन जॉनसन सिंड्रोम्स कनकोनियनीमिया गैलेक्टोसीमिया ग्लाइकोजन स्टोरेज सिंड्रोम्स एंड दिमोसिस्टिक यूरिया एंड द हिमोक्रोमाटोसिस एंड ऑक्यूलो क्यूटेनियस एल्बिनिजम्स एंड सिकल सेलिनीमिया सिकल सेलिनीमिया इज आल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट अगेन दिस इज अ टेबल वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दैम एट द एंड ऑफ द चैप्टर सो नाउ लेट स्टार्ट आर चैप्टर एंड हेयर दिस इज आर चैप्टर लेट स्टार्ट आर चैप्टर so here is the uh, first they have discussed the molecular biology and uh, the most important part of the molecular biology they are the nucleotides nucleotides are made up of a sugar molecule and a heterogeneous base and a phosphate group and uh, um, next is uh, uh, the first part of the nucleotide uh, is the sugar molecule so what is the sugar molecule in the nucleotide and uh, and uh, these are composed of the five carbon atoms in a circular uh, structures form a pentose ring here this is a pentose ring and, uh, and it is made of of a carbon sugar okay and uh, they are forming a pentose ring and it contains the uh, um, uh, it forms a deoxyribose in dna and ribose in the in the rna so that the deoxyribose sugar is uh, um, present in the dna and ribose sugar is present in the rna then um, the base is the base pair we are going to tell you what are the base the bases are attached to the carbon number 1 if we consider this a carbon number 1 the bases are attached on the carbon number 1 and uh, phosphate bases are attached on the carbon number 5 this is the carbon number 5 we consider them let's suppose okay and uh, 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 then moving towards uh, uh, so what are the nitrogenous bases which is the second part of the um, nucleotide it is a nitrogenous bases there are the two types of the uh, bases one is the purine base and the second is the pyrimidine bases the base pairs uh, they uh, so what are the base pairs the base pairs they includes the c and g which are contains the three carbon bond such that three carbon bonds are present between the c and g and uh, either a Uh, uh, so this is not a. This is a T or U. Uh, U Russell is present in the um, RNA and T is present in the DNA. They contains two carbon units. Okay. The here again, uh, they have discussed what are the types of the bases. Uh, one thing you should uh, remember that the um, any paragraph or um, uh table or uh, diagram it is very important for the exam point of view they are the very important thing you should memorize them by your heart so uh, we are going to do each boxes all the boxes are important which are given in this book so starting with the box number 1 it is the uh, types of the nitrogenous bases we have discussed as they are either purines or the pyrimidines the purines they are the guanine which is g adenine a uh, and the pyrimidines includes the cytosine c uh, thymine t it is present um, on in dna we have discussed it and the uh, second is the uracil u which is only present in the rna okay then uh, uh, I think this diagram has covered our chapter. Let them please here these diagrams they have. We are going to discuss all these diagrams because I have collected uh, them from the different resources, and uh, these are very important. We are going to discuss all these tables at the end. So, moving uh, towards the next topic, and uh, it is the DNA. Now we are going to discuss. Uh, Uh, how DNA? What is DNA? DNA is a double-stranded helix, and it held it is held together by the hydrogen bonds. And the strands they associates into the pairs and uh, run in the opposite directions. They are the antiparallel, such that one is going down and the other is going up, and they are present in the helical structure. This is the helical structure, and um, 
the sugar is in the dna is deoxyribose and the pyrimidine is the thiamine we have discussed this previously dna bond they are the double bonded phosphodiesterase is bonded five prime to three prime and uh, what uh, how the replication occurs the replication it uh, uh, involves the process of the unwinding of the double stranded dna by dna helicase which is an enzyme and results in the formula formation of uh, two <coughs> dna strands such that if it is a dna uh, so the at the end it is going to open uh, due to the um, helicase and the copying of the dna by dna polymerase uh, uh, occurs and uh, using one strand as a template the one strand it is used as a template or this strand is used as a template um, and uh, uh, DNA copying is occurred by the DNA polymerase which is another enzyme then the after the copying of the um, data the winding back of the DNA strands uh, it is done by the DNA lycase and uh, when the temperature drops uh, drops uh, um, uh, annealing occurs we are going to discuss it later now what is the RNA RNA is uh, basically of the three types which is the mRNA it is involved in the transcription the RNA uh, rRNA it is a ribosomal and the tRNA and uh, it involves in the uh, translation then the sugar is a ribose and the pyrimidine is the uracil we have discussed it previously now what are the codons codons it is uh, basically it is another important part of the molecular biology it is a genetic code and it is made up of the rna it consists of the three sequential nucleotides and it is uh, uh, degenerate such that the more than one codon can specify the same amino acid but no codon specifies more than one amino acids and the total possible number of the codon is 64 because the dna contains the few four nucleotides now the whole dna is uh, made up of the uh, four nucleotides we have discussed it previously now the next one is a gene genes uh, they are a stretch of the nucleotides that code for a polypeptide and it determines a amino acid sequence and therefore the functions of a protein and they represents an inherent unit of the information they are made up of the two regions uh, one is the axons which is the coding area they code for the protein uh, that the gene encodes and the axon sequence is highly um, uh, conserved between the individuals and the introns, introns are the non coding areas and the length outweighs that of the axons and not well conserved between the individuals and splice out during the process to the mRNA. Now the next thing is the chromosomes. Chromosomes they are uh, contained in the nuclei. They are the linear strands of the DNA that contains the genes regularly regulatory elements and the nucleotide sequence. They are the edge shaped uh, and uh, consisting of the two identical pairs called the chromatids they held together by a centromere and uh, there are the 22 homologous autosomal pairs and one pair of the sex chromosome the size the largest is the chromosome number one and the smallest is the chromosome number 22 they detected at the metaphase and uh, they are identified by the uh, gymsa staining and uh, the colchicine inhibits the spindle formations and edt inhibits the deoxyribonucleases now the structures of the uh, RNA uh, 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 chromosome it includes the arms the short uh, the short is the P P arm and the long is the Q arm and uh, they are held together by a centromeres and uh, they are the region where the two identical sister chromatids they co come in the contact based on the positions of the centromere the following types of the chromosomes they have been uh, described number one is the metacentric such that uh, the two arms of the chromosomes are equal in length submetacentric and the acrocentric and the telocentric telocentric and holocentric they are not present in the humans and uh, they can be classified into the seven groups so this is the structure this is a chromatid and this is a centromere now the human uh, chromosome groups the one two three chromosomes are large and they are the metacentric and four and five they are the large and the sub metacentric six to twelve and x they are the medium and the sub metacentrics and the 13 to 15 are the medium and the acrocentric the 16 to 18 are the short and the sub metacentric and 19 to 20 are the short and the metacentric 21 22 and by they are very short and they are acrocentric now uh, the process of the protein synthesis how the protein is synthesized in, synthesized in the human body uh, first the dna is transcribed to the mrna the messenger rna and uh, by dna polymerase and the dna strand is read in the three prime to five prime directions mrna is transcribed in the five prime to three prime directions 
mRNA is translated to uh, the amino acids and they require the ribo uh, ribosomes. Now the polymerase uh, chain reaction it is also called as the PCR it amplifies the uh, selection area in a DNA strand and it does not work on the RNA and would not to be converted to the DNA first by the reverse transcription enzymes and need three components uh, two primes two primes and uh, four uh, deoxynucleotides and the uh, tag polymerase and the uh, logarithmic amplification the blotting it, it is a northern uh, blotting which is for rna southern blotting is for dna and the western blotting is for protein and requires the protein antibodies the proteomics it is a quantitative and the uh, uh, qualitative uh, comparisons of the protein under the different conditions to further unravel the biological processes it involves a separation using the two-dimensional uh, gel electrophoresis sorry guys for the um background voice of the cuff which is of course my son and uh, i'm sorry again because he's having flu these days and uh, you might uh, notice it in uh, my videos so uh, sorry and now next uh, moving to the dimensions of the gel electrophoresis it is uh, the first dimension and the second dimension the first dimension is based on the isoelectric points and the voltage is applied along the ph gradient and the second dimension is based on the size and the voltage is applied the perpendicular to the original now the uh, most important uh, topic that is the cell divisions and the replication uh, the cell cycle is very important and uh, Cell cycle is a series of the events in a cell that lead to the its division and replication. It has the four phases. Number one is the uh, interface. Uh, sorry, the interface uh, is another step, and it is the part of the cell cycle which is consisting of the uh, three phases: G1, G2, and S. It is not uh, a phase in the mitosis. And the chromosome replication they occurs only during the S phase, and the diploid is the cells with the pair of the homologous chromosomes and the haploid they contains the one member of the each homologous pair of the chromosomes mm, and then the proliferation genes they are the semic and the c gene and the inhibiting gene which is the p53 uh, so this is the uh, cell cycle phases this is the mm, g1 phase g1 and this is the s phase which is the synthesis phase then the uh, g2 phase which is second gap and the m phase is the mitosis and faces the mitosis and uh, then uh, second is the stem cells it is uh, characterized by the capacity of the uh, cell uh, renewal over a prolonged period of the time and the potency and the potency is the capacity to the differentiate into the specialized cell types and the totipotent cells they can uh, differentiate into the uh, extra embryonic and the em embryonic uh, cell uh, cell types then the totipotent and the pluripotent and the multipotent and the oligopotent and the unipotent they are the stem cell lineages now the next thing is the mitosis it is a process of the cell division that results in the production of two identical daughter cells from a single parent cells it involves the nuclear divisions and the cytokinesis and it occurs exclusively in the eukaryotic cell and it is consists of the four stages the stages include the prophase metaphase anaphase and telophase now uh, the first phase is the prophase in which the chromatins they are condensed. Centromeres they present close to the nucleus. A centromere it is consists of the pair of the centrioles, and uh, the second is the metaphase. The metaphase is uh, a, 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 a step where the nuclei they disappears and the nuclear membranes they disintegrate, and the centrioles they migrate to both poles and the mitotic spindle they form and the chromosomes are aligned at the meta face plate the third is the anaphase anaphase is the uh, is the uh, kinetochore microtubule which is uh, shortened separating uh, the chromatid and the kinetochore is the point on the chromosome where the mitotic spindles are attached then the uh, next is the telophase telophase is the uh, chromosomes are decondensed and the reformations of the nuclear membrane and the mitosis the spindles disappears and is followed by the cytokines the next is the meiosis it is a type of the cell division 
in uh, which the germ cells they are the produced and the four haploid daughter cells they are produced from a single diploid uh, parent cell and it involves uh, reductions in the genetic material it is again very important Meiosis also have the two successive nuclear divisions. It is consists of the uh, two stages, and each stage has the four phases. The meiosis uh, uh, one, which separates the homologous chromosomes, uh, producing the two haploid cells, and the meiosis two, it is uh, similar to the mitosis. The meiosis uh, one is the reductions, um, reductions region consisting of the four phases. It has again the prophase one, the metaphase one, the anaphase one, and telophase one, and. Uh, uh, now the stages of the meiosis uh, one it includes the prophase one which involves the pairing of the homologous chromosomes the paired homologous chromosomes are called the bivalent and the, the crossing over of uh, the my uh, chromatid over the uh, chiasmata and the migrations of the centrosomes to both the poles of the cells and uh, uh, three phases the metaphase one um, it is the homologous chromosomes pair aligned at the metaphase plate and the anaphase one is the kinetochore microtubules they shortens and separating the homologous chromosomes then the what are the stages of the prophase one and it includes the uh, leptosine the xenotin Pacitin. In the xenotin, uh, the pairing of the homologous chromosomes they occurs. Pacitin, the chromosomal crossover, they uh, occurs in this stage. Then the diplotin and the dikinesis and the uh, syn uh, uh, synchronous process, the migrations of the centrosomes to opposite protein of the cells. Now, the genetic uh, transfer is based on the Mendelian inheritance. It's such that uh, it is derived by the George Mendel, and the Mendel law has uh, two principles. Number one is the law of segregation. It states that the e each gamete receives only one allele of each gene. And the law of the independent assortment, it is the states that the alleles of the different genes, they assort independently of one another during the gametogenesis. It has the four models of the inheritance. Uh, we have previously discussed it is the autosomal dominant and then the autosomal recessive and link dominant and x linked recessive. And it, there is also a mitochondrial as well. Now the chromosomal abnormalities and uh, 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 we have previously discussed it has the different types of abnormalities. Different number one is the aneuploidy. It is the changing in the number of the chromosomes. The most common are the Down syndrome, trisomy 21. Edward syndrome, it is the trisomy 18. And the Patau syndrome is the trisomy 18. And Turner syndrome is the monoxy X. And um, then next is the structures. It, it, it includes the translocation, inversion, deletion, duplication, and insertion. Okay, the uh, then the uh, mosaics is the uh, presence of the two or more genetically different cells lines different from a single zygote. Starting with the trisomies, the examples of the uh, uh, aneuploidies, it includes the uh, trisomies, which are the uh, general facts. They are the due to the number one is the known disjunctions at the meiosis, 70% of the cases, and this is very important MCQ as well. Then uh, non -disjunction, disjunction at the meiosis 2 can also occur. The mosaicism is less than 5% and in, it increases with the maternal age. And the greater the number of the extra chromosomes, the greater the uh, probability of the learning disabilities if the individual survives. Then uh, the most important uh, trisomy is the Down syndrome, which is trisomy 21. The prevalence uh, is the one in 700 live births. The incidence is highest at the conception, and 80% they undergoes the spontaneous pregnancy loss. They are due to the primary trisomy 21, which accounts 95% of the non disjunctions and the meiosis in the maternal 85% and the paternal 15% cell line. And uh, also, another important MCQs it is the Robertsonian translocation of the chromosome 14 ratio 21 it is three percent but it is important mcq then the mosaicism is the one percent the features which are include includes the raised knuckle translu uh, translucency the dysmorphic fissures small ears upslanting um, palpebral fissures flat facial profile and the brachycephaly and uh, 
hypotonia the cardiac abnormalities the atrial venous av canal defect and the gastrointestinal tract abnormalities includes the duodenal atresia imperforatra anus and the um, hirschsprung syndrome or disease and the conductive hearing loss the increased risk uh, they have increased risk of the alzheimer's disease acute myeloid leukemia and acute lymphoblastic leukemia and the hypothyroidism the maternal age risk of the Down syndrome is that at 25 years it is 1 uh, ratio 1500, at 30 years 1 ratio 900 and at 35 years of the age it is a 1 ratio 350. At 45 years of the age it is 1 ratio 30 and at 50 years of age it is 1 in 11 and cut off for the invasive screening uh, 1 ratio 250. Now the uh, uh, and, uh, next trisomy is the Albert syndrome which is trisomy 18 and the prevalence is uh, 1 ratio 3000 live births with a male to female ratio of 1 ratio 2. The features include the increased uh, knuckle transfluency, the musculocutaneous defects, the limb defect, the uh, rocker bottom feet, the convex bottom of the foot with the projecting heel and the overlapping fingers. And the facial defects include the micro microcognitia, the cleft palate, cleft lip, lip, and the cardiac defect includes the ventricular septal defect, the atrial septal defects, and the patent ductus uh, arthriosis. The abnormal abdominal defects include the exophthalmos um, and uh, inguinal hernia and diaphragmatic hernia and renal malformation and intrauterine growth restrictions. And uh, the mortality rates they are the by one mouth is equal to 30 percent by two months it is 50 percent by one year it is the 90 percent next is the patao syndrome which is rhizome 13 and uh, 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 prevalence is you can memorize is like p for puberty p for patao and um, puberty occurs at the 13 years of the age and um, You can also memorize uh, uh, the adverse syndrome is that we uh, get the el el elections we left at the age of 18 and a for election e for adverse syndromes and again you can also uh, memorize the down syndrome as uh, mostly the people they start drinking at 21 years of age and uh, drinking is d and d for down syndrome okay and then um, uh, then next is the uh, Pitao syndrome it is trisomy 13 and the prevalence is one ratio 5000 live births and incidence in a uh, increases with the maternal age the features uh, features the midline defects includes the hypo uh, telorism abnormal abnormally decrease the distance between the eyes and the hollow prosen spalli which is a failure of the prosen uh, spalli uh, the uh, capillon to develop into the hemisphere, the cleft lip, the cleft uh, uh, palate, and the scab defect, and the post axial polydactyly, the congenital heart de defects, and the renal abnormalities, and the oncologic intrauterine fetal growth restrictions. And mortality rate is almost 100% by the one month of the age. Sex uh, syndromes, uh, chromosomes, and nucleides the incidence the, in the male is 1 ratio 400. And it includes a Klein-Felter uh, syndrome, which is 47XXY, and Turner syndrome, which is 45X0. The lion's hypothesis is the bar body. It is the inactivated X chromosome and uh, uh, present if more than two X chromosomes in a cell. Inactivation of one X chromosome occurs in the female at the 15 to 16 days gestations. The Turner syndrome the mon monosomy 45x not the prevalence is one ratio 2500 female life birth the features include the raised knuckle transfluency the cystic uh, hygroma and the lymph edema and the neck webbing and the short stretchers and the wide carrying angle of the ad arm and the shield uh, shaped chest with the widely spaced nipples and the coaction of the iota and the uh, gonad uh, gonadal dysgenesis and the renal abnormalities including the house who shoe kidney and the intellectually normal and risk of the gonadoblastoma 
the client filter syndrome it is the 47 xxy the incidence is one ratio thousand life births the features are the tall small tests with the hypogonadotrophic hypogonadism and the infertility examples of the structural uh, chromosomes abnormalities uh, include the translocation it is exchange of the two segments of the chromosome between known homologous chromosomes the two types the um, uh, balanced and a even exchange of the material with no excess or loss of the genetic material the unbalanced unequal exchange of the genetic material resulting in the extra or the missing genes and the robertsonian uh, translocation the results from the fusion of a long arm of two at acrocentric chromosomes examples of the structural uh, chromosomal abnormalities uh, number one is the translocation and uh, it is exchange of the two segments of the chromosomes between the non homologous chromosomes and uh, they are the two types the balance uh, and uh, and even exchange of the material with no excess or the loss of the genetic material unbalanced are the unequal exchange of the genetic uh, material resulting in the extra or the missing gene and the uh, robertsonian translocation the results from the fusion of a long arm of the two acrocentric chromosomes next is the deletion The examples of the syndromes due to the structural chromosomal abnormalities they are caused by the divisions they includes the velocardiofacial dejorge 22q11 immune deficiency parathyroid dysfunction causing the hypocalcemia autism congenital heart diseases then the angelman 15q11 to 13 maternal deletion they are the happy dispositions and the macroglossia and ataxia and schizers the pedal will i 15 q11 to 13 paternal uh, deletion includes obese hypogonadism and the hypotonia uh, so uh, we are going to uh, cover the genetic disorders in our next part of the video and uh, till that time take care bye bye